welcome back to the night with me, Midnight HD here, back for another episode of Game of Thrones, a Telltale game series. Let's do it. Where we left off, uh, we left Ironrath, I think. Should be good to go leaving Ironrath. On wherever we're going, I've got no idea, but I think going to the wall, actually. Uh, yeah, going to the wall. So let's carry on with episode number three. Ethan? Ethan! Ethan Forrester, I think that's who the Lord of Ironrath is now, apparently. Looking very young. I couldn't find him. Could you? He hides too well, and if he were smart, he would reveal himself. I'm not smart. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Uh, Ethan's fine. You found me. He's Let's just nice. forgotten this is a game. So you found me. Well done, Ryan. Ryan, yeah, he's the younger brother, the fourth son. Don't worry. Number it's five, just uh, a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here, and I promise I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, nice. I wish Mira was here, and Asha. And... and Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want Gareth to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the die. wall. Uh, I'll miss Gareth. He was Garrett nice. Is smart. He'll be fine. Gareth is smart. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it Nothing. must have been serious. What he did. I heard Duncan and Sir Roiland talking. Itself. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Roiland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And he calls you a milksop. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sir Roiland forgets himself. I don't care what he says. I can protect you. What does milksop mean? I don't know, but I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Roiland teach you how to wield a sword, like, like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, oh, and he even you. showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know good how to fight. With midnight. <laughs> oh, nice sword action there, bud. With a stick. Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? <laughs> You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training, and he never smiled anymore. And Asher, Asher just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that, please. Just be you. Sent somewhere I like you the way you are. I know a lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. I promise you won't change. I promise Keep I won't change. Out. Good, because I'd rather Tired have a brother than a lord. I'll have to have both, I'm afraid. But since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So, I could have all the sweets I want. If only it were that uh, simple. It would it be works. nice if someone did what I wanted for once. That's not how it works. Well, that's how it should work. You are the Lord. Lord Ethan, you're needed in the Great Hall at once. Oh Quickly, on your feet. Oh, it's not that bad, is it? No one's seen his voice. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding He's justice. That guy wants me hanged in it. Can't Gareth. you meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really yeah, must go. go. Think, guys. It's your decision. Uh, you are the Lord. If I were Lord, yeah, I would command uh, Ethan to stay. 
with his family. Face face face. Fine, if that's what's face. required of me. Very well then. You remember that. Good. So I'm following you, mate. And there is a bit of a tool. Probably only trying to protect us. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? A business with Garrod. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrod is a squire to this house. Or was, yeah, I suppose. Is. is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. What should I say to him? Tell him and his men to leave. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men roll over. Roll over or stand up for ourselves. Let's see how it goes then, guys. It's a bit uh, mean. Hello, good sir. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. Fair enough, you. The late Lord friend, Forrester was friend, no friend uh, to me or my house. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. Okay, what a bit of a twat. I've been waiting for this day <sighs> all my life. Off now. The Foresters finally get their me. due. Douche. I may be young, but I'm not so easily fooled. You're trying to rile me, but it won't work. Young? You are that boy. Too young to know when you're in over your head. I didn't ask for it. And no bread and salt! What kind of fucking house receives well, a lord with no just, fucking bread and salt? Go my you bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have uh, expected as much. Ignore it. Bloody foresters. Does little Lord Forrester know how to speak? You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. Now. We all serve House Bolton Thank now. Ethan. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Oh, not this guy again. He can smeg off. What's he doing here? Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business. Keeping the king's peace, as his lordship yeah, here sure said, was, when your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attacked for no reason. Uh, it was your man who started it. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in oh, your name. Uh, and you are the how did you answer lord your man? How about of this one? house. We lost your people guy. too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. Soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? Sent him to the wall. He was sent to the wall. Who the fuck sent him to the wall? Answer me. Who's the one who did it? I did. What? That was my justice to deliver, boy. And you denied me of it. I'm not leaving Kill it. until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Oh. Uh, Lady Forrester. Lady Forrester. Just in time. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady. 
considering your <sighs> losses and all. But this... this is not over! It's over when my son says it is. It's over. This is over, Lord Whitehill. Get out. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can mm. find the door. Yeah. Door's over there, mate. Jog on. That lad may be Lord of this house. Come on. But Lord yeah. Bolton will have the final yes, say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and Lies. denied me my justice. Wolf. Then we'll see whose word is law. We're Very in the right, right Lord yeah. Whitehill. Remember that. He will. Yeah. He better will. Blaming this. And that guy is a complete stirrer. Your son did well, my lady. He kept his wits while Lord Whitehill lost his temper. A lesser man would have been rattled, but Ethan here held his ground. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Mm, that was a bit of a uh, controversial episode. That was. Uh, didn't know how that was going to turn out, really. Hopefully, it went out the right way. We never know, though. Your sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie yeah, Tyrell's nice. favour. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the okay, Boltons so at bay, if it's presented to her as it should be. Another forester in King's Landing. That is going to be a tough place to live in King's Landing. Uh, so I can walk around as her now. Uh, look at Coldbrazer. Wow, nice Coldbrazer there. Ironwood box. Um, okay, so it's all her stuff then, I guess. Uh, that's unfinished letter. Let's have a read of it. Because we are being nosy. Father, much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come. Although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. Uh, let's look at this coin. Asher sent me this coin, to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. Ash is in Essos, that's a... No idea where that is, but, uh, so he sent her a coin. That's a bit of a memory by thing. Carved ironwood tree. Ethan made this oh. for me. That's nice. I got one like that and a necklace for something with uh, Garrett. High garden brooch. Look at. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. So Marjorie's gave her a gift as well. So it obviously seems like Marjorie and Mira are quite close. Uh, let's have a look at the dusty old tome. Wonders made by man, by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. Hmm. Horse crushed himself. I hope to see them all someday. Hopefully you will. Let's have a look this way. Can I go this way? Uh, Look out the window. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. Mm, I don't know. The weather, the weather forecast in Ironrath is uh, cloudy with a chance of snow, unfortunately. Less from Mother. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope. And can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Okay, so I'm asking Marjorie for her help, and that was a raven from last episode, apparently. Got sent. Uh, 
someone's knocking at the door. Hello. Good knocker. One moment. Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. Uh, who's this guy? Um, let him in. Why not? No, it's fine. Come in. Oh, he's uh, tending to the cold brazier. Well, I uh, so famously looked at that. Begging your pardon, seconds. my lady, but you all right? If you don't mind my uh, asking, you seem rather upset. I'm worried. I'm just worried about my family. Ah, little from home, is it? It's kind of you to ask. Of course, my lady. You've always been kind to me. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. You work for Lady Marjorie? Uh, I do. I may be I wrong, know, but it seems like you do. Uh, I'm a handmaid. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? Not Cersei. They appear to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but... Why are you telling me this? Why are you telling me this? I heard them arguing about House Forrester and... House Forrester? How do they know? I thought you'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. I'm sure he does. Good night, my lady. So he could be an ally later on, we never know. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. So weird having the actual voice actors of Game of Thrones in this game it is great news. From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I've thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Behind. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. And your poor family as well. My family wrote me, my lady. I don't doubt they must be overcome with grief. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. Right. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. Big ass armor on. She mentioned the northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. I'm no traitor. Her face was full of mirth as she said it. I'm not a traitor. Of course not. It's only an excuse to torment you, and by extension, me. She demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know, but... She's oh, waiting great. for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot uh, afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. I her. cannot apologize, my lady. I'm not a traitor. I know you're not, but you must find a way to That's appease so her. Old, yeah. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. See if the Queen Regent is ready to receive us. situation you'll be fine I know you will you may feel one thing but you must say another good luck
Anyway, guys, sorry to do this, but I think I'm going to end the episode right here. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.